So up till now, we've been telling you that a strong acid is fully dissociated in water. That is, the proton completely comes off of the acid, each molecule, when you put it in water. But the reality is, is that a strong acid is almost completely dissociated in water. Not every single one of the protons will come off of the acid. Almost all of them will. So, a strong acid has a weak conjugate base. So let's pick a strong acid, nitric acid. Now we told you initially that it's fully dissociated, strong acids are fully dissociated in water. We now know that's not quite true. They're almost fully dissociated in water. So really, I need to put an equilibrium sign in there. And to remind myself, uh, the extent of the dissociation, I think that maybe, you know, 1% are undissociated and 99% say are dissociated. So strong acids, almost completely dissociated. Now, what can you say about this? Well, this is the conjugate base made by removing uh, an H plus from the acid. So this conjugate base is weak. It won't react back to form that very much at all. And that seems obvious that almost all of the time the conjugate base would rather remain on its own and not react with the H plus and go back here. How do I know it would rather remain on its own? Because almost all of the time it does. It remains dissociated. Well, weak acids are only partially dissociated in water. That means when you put them into water, only very occasionally do they break up or ionize into the acid and the conjugate base. So the IB likes the weak acid of methanoic acid, HCO2H. It's weak, so it's partially dissociated. So in my mind, I think, well, 99% of it is undissociated and 1% of it is dissociated. So that's the weak acid. So that must be the strong conjugate base. So what does it mean that this conjugate base is strong? Well, it means it wants to react with this H plus and go back to this undissociated form. And how do you know it wants to do that a lot? Well, look, only 1% of them stay dissociated. Almost all of them want to go back to the undissociated form. So copying directly from the beloved syllabus, a strong base is a good proton acceptor and has a weak conjugate acid. All right, this one was a little trickier to find. Uh, a couple of the books didn't even have it. So OH minus plus NH4 plus goes to H2O plus NH3. All righty, so this is the strong base. OH minus is a strong base. And so what's the conjugate acid? Well, a conjugate acid is made by adding a proton. So which of these was made by adding a proton? This one here. So that's going to be the conjugate acid. So if that's a strong base, this is going to be a weak conjugate acid. And so this being a weak conjugate acid means it doesn't want to react with the ammonia to go back over to here. It would rather stay like this, which means there's going to be much more of this. Let's say 99% and much less of this, let's say 1%. And finally, which of these is a weak conjugate base? Well, to work out which is a weak conjugate base, first of all, you have to know what acid they came from. Well, this one came from hydrochloric acid, and this one came from ethanoic acid. So a strong acid has a weak conjugate base. This is a strong acid. You just have to learn that. So that must be the weak conjugate base.
So this is just a little surreal animation about strong acids having weak conjugate bases. <laughs>